In the endeavor to construct a habitat on Earth, a meticulous orchestration of diverse materials, essential supplies, and skilled construction personnel is indispensable. Transitioning to the celestial realm, the International Space Station ISS represents a paradigm shift demanding a unique assembly of modular components, specialized tools, and expertise of both robotic systems and highly trained astronauts. The intricate interplay between robotic arms under the meticulous guidance of astronauts culminates in the precision assembly and fine tuning of each component, transforming the ISS into a secure and habitable environment within the vast expanse of space. Now with a clear view of what is required to create a house on both space and earth, let's get into the actual topic. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we will be seeing our parts of ISS. In my previous video, I gave the names and short overview about the 43 official parts or modular components of ISS. In the upcoming videos, we are going to see about each of the 43 modules of the ISS very clear and elaborately. Picture it as constructing a cosmic house, each module a vital component in shaping our celestial abode. As we unravel the cosmic tapestry woven by the celestial pioneer, we witness the grand spectacle that is the International Space Station ISS, a testament to our cosmic aspirations. Today in this video, we are going to see about the ISS's first module, Zarya. Like the first brick in a colossal LEGO creation, the Zarya module serves as a cornerstone of international cooperation in space exploration, propelling humanity into the era of the International Space Station ISS. As a pioneering component of the ISS, Zarya played a pivotal role in anchoring a permanent human presence in orbit. In this video, we delve into the origins, significance, parts and contributions of the Zarya module, eliminating its role in nurturing international partnership and propelling scientific research forward in the vast expanse of space exploration. Let's start the video. The Zarya Module What is Zarya? Originally named Functional Cargo Block FGB. The designation reflects its primary function as a cargo module designed to transport supplies and equipment to the ISS. The Russian cosmonauts affectionately nicknamed it Zarya, which translates to sunrise in English. The term Functional Cargo Block FGB finds its origin in the Russian name Functional no Grusovic block, where the G stands for Grusovoy, meaning cargo. This designation underscores the module's primary purpose of carrying cargo and supplies to the ISS. The abbreviation FGB thus reflects the functional and cargo oriented nature of the module within the broader framework of the international cooperation in space exploration. The adoption of the name Zarya by Russian cosmonauts adds a touch of symbolism to the module, representing a dawn of a collaborative effort in space that transcends nation's boundaries. When was it launched? The Zarya model was launched on November 20, 1998 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan atop a Russian Proton-K rocket at 1.40 UTC in Mission 1A RR as the first component of the ISS. Who built it? During the 1990s, after the Cold War ended, Zarya, the inaugural module for the International Space Station ISS, received funding from the United States through prime contracts. The construction of Zarya took place from December 1994 to January 1998 at the Klinichev State Research and Production Space Center KHSC, in Moscow, Russia. The financial support from the US played a crucial role in the development of this module marking the initial phase of the ISS construction and collaboration between the United States and Russia in space exploration endeavors.
Now let's explore the key parts of Zarya and its impressive specifications. Structure of Zarya module Cylindrical hull Zarya, a pivotal module of the International Space Station ISS, boasts an intricately designed structure that combines cutting-edge materials and innovative architecture. The cylindrical hull, meticulously crafted from a blend of robust and lightweight aluminium alloys, serves as the primary framework for the module. The aluminium construction strikes a delicate balance between strength and weight essential for enduring the harsh conditions of space travel. Docking Ports The docking system of Zarya features three strategically positioned ports, one axially on the front end at the docking sphere, forward-facing port, one on the earth-facing side, nadir, and one axially on the aft end where later spacecraft such as Zavezda docked with. The Unity docked to the forward facing port. Each port serves specific purposes. The forward facing port, oriented towards the station's direction of travel, allows for the connection with various spacecraft, enabling crewed and cargo missions. The Nader port facing Earth facilitates direct observations and communications with mission control. The NADA docking port also played a crucial role in the docking of the Rasavid mini research module in 2010, enhancing the ISS's scientific capabilities. Propulsion System Zarya's propulsion system is a marvel of engineering. These engines are specifically designed for maneuvering and orbit adjustments. Utilizing a hypergolic propellant mixture, these engines ignite upon contact without needing an external spark, making them highly reliable and easy to start in the vacuum of space. This propulsion technology enhances the module's agility, enabling precise adjustments to its orbital trajectory. Moreover, external fuel tanks are often attached to Zarya, providing additional propellants for the module's engines. These tanks play a crucial role in ensuring Zarya's continued maneuverability and orbital adjustments throughout its operational life within the ISS. Zarya boasts an impressive array of 16 external fuel tanks capable of holding up to 6.1 tons, 13 pounds of propellant. This extensive storage capacity was mandated by NASA in early 1997, driven by the concerns that the Zavezda service module might face further delays. Hence, the FGB had to be equipped with the capability for independent propeller storage and transfer, ensuring operational flexibility and autonomy, particularly when resupplying from Progress spacecraft. Solar Panels The Zarya module's solar arrays have a maximum power output of approximately 3 kW. This level of power generation is sufficient to meet the energy needs of three average households. The electricity produced by the solar panel is used to sustain the various systems and experiments on the International Space Station ISS, demonstrating the feasibility and efficiency of solar power in space applications. This 3 kW output is notable for its capacity to support the life support systems scientific instruments, communication equipment, and other operational requirements of the ISS. The efficient utilization of the solar energy on Zarya module reflects a broader trend in space exploration towards sustainable and renewable energy sources. The partial retraction of the solar panels on the NASA-financed Russian-built Zarya was necessitated by interference with other station components, notably the massive radiators being deployed from the integrated truss structure in 2007. This decision to retract the solar panels was a strategic maneuver to prevent potential clashes with the deployment of critical infrastructure components, ensuring the smooth and unimpeded operation of the International Space Station ISS. The precision coordination of these movements is crucial to avoid any inadvent collisions or disruptions that could compromise the functionality and longevity of the station's essential systems. In 2007, the integrated truss structure was the focal point for various upgrades and expansions on the ISS. 
and the retraction of Zarya solar panels was a precautionary measure to facilitate the seamless integration of these new elements. Internal Systems Life Support Systems the Zarya model of the International Space Station lacks its own life support systems. While it was initially launched to provide propulsion, power and communication capabilities, it doesn't possess the capability for sustaining human life independently. Instead, it relies on the other modules such as the Vesta Service Module and Unity Node 1 for essential life support functions. This underscores the collaborative nature of the ISS where different modules work together to ensure the well-being of astronauts in space. Storage The Zarya module of the International Space Station ISS serves a critical function in terms of storage, providing essential space for storing various supplies and equipment necessary for the station's operations and well-being of the crew. Storage within Zarya encompasses a range of items, including spare parts, scientific instruments and consumables like food and personal items. The model's design allows for efficient organization and accessibility to these stored items, contributing to the overall functionality of the ISS. Proper storage management within Zarya is crucial for maintaining a well-organized and operational space station, ensuring that necessary resources are readily available to support the diverse activities and experiments conducted on board. Communication Systems The Zarya module of the International Space Station ISS is equipped with the essential communication system that facilitates the exchange of data commands and information between module, other ISS components and mission control on Earth. These communication systems play a crucial role in maintaining constant contact with ground control enabling real-time monitoring of the ISS and providing a means for astronauts to communicate with mission control for updates, guidance and emergency situations. The communication system in Zarya employs advanced radio frequency technology and antennas, ensuring reliable and secure communication links for telemetry, voice and video data. This capability is vital for coordinating scientific experiments, conducting operational tasks and maintaining crew safety on the ISS, establishing a robust communication infrastructure for support and station's overall mission objective. Specifications The length of the Zarya module is around 14.5 meters, 47.6 feet. The diameter is about 4.1 meters, 13.5 feet. The mass is about 19,323 kilograms or 42,600 pounds. The habitable volume is about 46.7228 cubic meters or 1,650 cubic feet, offering astronauts a confined yet functional living and working space. Within this limited volume, Zarya is equipped with storage compartments, communication systems to ensure the well-being and productivity of the crew. Additional Facts The period during which the Zarya module orbited Earth alone for 16 days before the attachment of the first American module, Unity, represents a pivotal moment in the construction of the International Space Station ISS. Its initial solar orbit allowed mission controllers to evaluate the performance and confirm its readiness for integration into larger space station modules. The subsequent attachment of Unity on December 6, 1998 marked the commencement of the ISS's modular assembly. Initiating the collaboration between Russia and America, Unity served as a connecting node facilitating the integration of various modules from different nations. Astronaut Nancy Curie commanded the Space Shuttle Endeavour's robotic arm, Canada, to reach out and grapple Zarya during the STS-88 mission. Zarya's launch marked a significant milestone 
in international cooperation and scientific advancements it part the way for the assembly of the iss testament to human ingenuity and collaboration even today zaria remains a vital part of the station providing essential functions and serving as a reminder of the dawn of a new era in space exploration hope you got more information about the first part or module of the iss the zaria module i'll meet you in the next video with another iss module take care bye